world is full of magic, energies, and so many possibilities. What if I told you, you can have anything you want? Yes, anything. Because with the universe, anything is possible. You are magic. Your thoughts are powerful. Your words are powerful. And what you believe is what you attract into your world. With the power of manifestation, you can create anything you want. Yes, anything you want. My shop, Jalissa's Manifestations, provides the tools to help you attract your desires, your wishes, your dreams. My candles are infused with crystals which hold energies and specific herbs to attract your manifestations. All you need is a wish and to believe. Energies are real and control your moods and what you attract. Sometimes we can feel depleted or in need of a boost of energy and that's what my spiritual baths are for. Cleansing, protecting, attracting love, abundance, and opportunities. The possibilities are endless. All you need is to believe. Believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. Believe in the magic inside you. Just believe. Hello, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. Welcome, welcome, family. My OGs, you already know what time it is. Welcome back. For any new viewers, welcome to my home. So happy to have you here. Do consider subscribing and hitting that bell button if you enjoy your time here with me today, which I do predict. <laughs> All right, guys, so we have a new pick a card reading here today. Today's pick a card reading is a message from the universe just for you. I put three cards out here, one card per pile. The way this works for anyone that is new, I display three options. And I always ask my family members to close their eyes, take a deep breath, hold that breath within. When you feel ready or inclined, release that breath, open up your eyes and see which pile is calling your name. Each pile has a timestamp, which will be listed down below in the description just for you. Pile one, we have this beautiful card here. It says counseling with this girl and a little fairy right here. So cute. All right, pile two, we have this card here. It says travel with the airplane in the background, the laptop. <laughs> pile three, we have this card here and it says hearts desires with the angel and the beach <laughs> bless so guys you may be called to more than one pile and that is totally fine you may have more than one message here today it happens a lot of, a lot of the times it happens i usually have more than one pile so don't feel guilty or don't um get too overwhelmed with that like oh my gosh but which one which one Go with both, all right? Please take what resonate and leave what doesn't for those who need, okay? This is a general reading, guys, but just know for a fact that if you are here, it's because I do have a message for you, and I am so happy to deliver. Guys, if you need any spiritual goodies, whether that is a manifestation candle or a protection bath or any type of spiritual bath, miss, crystal, divination tool, I got you, as I do have my own spiritual shop which is listed down below. Check out my reviews from my customers to see for yourself how the products work. Thank you, bless. And I do have a promotion till the end of the month, so enjoy a beautiful discount. <laughs> All right, and um, each pile will have an extended reading, and the reading link will be listed down below. It will be listed on Gumroad. That is a one-time purchase at a reasonable rate. You're able to either watch it if you like or download it for life. It's totally up to you, sweetheart. Bless. All right, guys. Um, I just quickly want to say grace. I want to say thank you. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, being part of my family. I really appreciate you guys. This year has been a very bumpy road for your sister, Okan. 
Yeah, I've taken dips and L's left and right. If you're an OG, you know. And yet I am standing tall, strong. And that's thanks to God, the universe, my angels, my ancestors, and you guys, because you guys also lift me up and keep me going. And I just wanted to make sure you knew that and that I love you and that I'm so thankful for your energy, your love, your comments, and all the above. Guys, make sure to also check out my shorts. I put um, har I post up horoscope updates there, which are pretty cool. I also have a TikTok, which you will find on my shorts. is listed there. It's also in my description. And the horoscope shorts go up on TikTok first before they come on YouTube. So if you want first dibs on that, go ahead and follow my TikTok. I also have my Instagram listed down below if you want to connect with me on a more personal level. All right, guys, so that's that, that's who, and that's what's up. Now let's get it, let's go. Pile one, pile two, pile three. I will find you at your pile. Bless. Hello there, pile one. How are you guys doing, boo? If you chose this card, counseling, then you are at your reading. Bless. Let's get started. Bless. All right, so this is a message for you, Pa One, from the universe. What message you need to hear today, okay? We're getting confirmation for you. That's what I'm getting. Bless. All right, I'm going to give you your angel number first, and then we're going to get into your reading. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear, Please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pa One. Thank you. Spirit, what is the angel number for Pa One here with me today? Okay. We got 643, Pa One. 643. When you have a chance, go to your search engine, put in 643, angel number meaning, and bam. Ooh, I hit my mic. And bam. There goes your message from Spirit Babe. All right, and if you can, do share. Ooh, all right, I did not mean to ring that, and you saw how I rang? Okay, go check that angel number out, and do share it, because we got confirmation there with the bell, because I did not mean to hit that bell. Well, my bowl is technically a bowl. All right, I didn't mean to hit it, and it did, so I feel like that's a sign in itself. All right, guys, so let's get started. Counseling, hmm. You heal with kind words, wise advice, and an empathic ear. So, Pawan, I feel like you guys are my empaths. You guys are my healers. You guys are my intuitives, okay? You're connected to the universe. You're connected to God. You're connected to the angels. Especially if you see here in this art, there's a little fairy speaking to what looks like to be a human but it's an earth angel and i love the art on the wings because it kind of looks like a butterfly here with this girl and then here you definitely see like a butterfly wing okay so i feel like i'm getting transformation i'm getting evolution i'm getting you evolving pa one all right you may be seeing someone or you may be counseling so take it how it resonates either you are going to someone who is mentoring you, who is counseling you, or you are this counselor. You are a mentor. You are a teacher. Either way, you are a healer, okay? And that's what I'm being told here to tell you today, Pal One. This is confirmation that you're a healer, you're an earth angel, you're this beautiful angelic being that's put on this blue and green planet to help others, uplift others, heal others, and I'm hearing, like, I'm hearing in return, like, what about me? Confirmation. Um, what about, I'm hearing, like, hospital. I don't know. Does somebody work in a hospital or something like that? All right, anyway, um, that could be confirmation. But I'm hearing that, what about me? Yes, you are definitely being healed at this time. I'm getting this beautiful light being given to you from the, because I'm seeing rays. I'm seeing gold rays. I'm seeing clear white rays. All right, this is coming from above, from the heavens, from the universe. Confirmation. Mm-hmm. And yes. Okay, 
Guys, give me one quick second, okay? All right, pal one. That was confirmation. Everything will be a okay. <laughs> All right, I just got some confirmation. I was like, wait a second, I needed to check something, and it was perfectly fine. I was worried about something, so you may be worried about something. And the answer is, it's gonna be a okay for you, pal one. Okay, with your kind words, with your kind energy, with that empathic ear, I feel like you're gonna help somebody. And listen, all right. Listen to the advice you receive. Listen to the guidance you're getting at this time. All right, the messages that come across you, the music that come across you. All right, everything is divinely being purposely placed in your path to guide you. So don't take it lightly, okay? Don't take the messages you receive lightly is what I'm getting to tell you. You're being guided and the universe wants you to know you're safe, you're protected, you got wings, you're getting ready to fly. And I see you helping a lot of people. I don't know how you're doing this. This could be through, I don't know, I'm getting an interview, I'm getting um, TV, I'm getting radio. I'm getting um, teaching, like some way, somehow, you're helping a lot of people with your word. And your word is very healing, Pawan. And this is what you're meant to do. So bless, bless your heart, bless your soul, Pawan. All right, so I'm gonna get a song for my music oracle. This is a sample, this is not the final print. All right, but I'm using it because I'm so excited. <laughs> all right, so that's another sign right there, Pawan, for you. All right, it's not the final print, all right? nothing is set in stone right now for you okay so who you are right now the version of yourself right now it's kind of like a sample of who you are meant to be and so that final print is coming very shortly it's coming really soon like the final print on that stone thank you spirit confirmation all right so if you're new notifications are confirmation so what's the vibe what's the message for pa one here with me today universe what is the message for Pa One? Thank you. Spirit, lead me where you know that song. I don't know what that song is, but I keep hearing it right now. Spirit, lead me where walls is without borders. I think or something like that. Okay, I'm getting that song strongly. If you guys know, leave it in the comments, please. We have um, Titi me preguntó, Bad Bunny, serial cheater. All right, so. You may have dealt or you may be dealing. And we, then we got como te siente, yearning. All right. So this is talking about a serial cheater yearning. Okay. The trans. So this deck, the cool thing about this deck is that there's both Spanish and English songs, but the Spanish songs are translated for my folks that don't read Spanish, of course. Um, so this one here says, auntie asked me why I have so many girlfriends, why I have so many girlfriends. Today I have one, tomorrow I have another. Hey, but there's no wedding. Auntie asked me if I have many girlfriends, huh? Many girlfriends. Today I have one, tomorrow I have another. All right, so there's this serial cheater around your energy, okay? Um, This is someone that is like all over the place energetically. This is someone that doesn't really got their feet firm on the ground. This person's around your energy, whether this is someone from your past or someone you're dealing with. All right, this person is messy okay but they're yearning all right we have here yeah we it says yeah we kill each other we kill each other tell me where can we see each other see each other time is passing and you are losing yourself how does it feel how does it feel when i'm inside and you're in front on top of me how did we end up like this like this like this how does it feel how does it feel when i'm inside and you're in front we do we do different positions different baby you don't get out of my mind my mind all right so this serial cheater is yearning for you that's the message that's coming through now we'll get more messages to see if this person's energy is changing or what's what what's who what's where what's why is this person in your energy well clearly it's because they're thinking about you and they can't stop thinking about you and they're really really yearning for you they're extremely thirsty is what i'm hearing they're dehydrated and you are their quench you are their water you are their light i just got a notification from facebook all right spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guys angels yamaya archangel michael my lord my savior source god poseidon mama bear please come through and help me channel this message here today for part one 
universe, spirit, God, angels, what is it that you want Pa One to hear today? What is it that they need to know? What is it that they need to hear? All right, so your first message was that you have this person in your energy. So you may be feeling them in your energy. All right, this person may be approaching you or you may be in contact with this person. And you may be a little, like, unsure. Like, that first message I got where you're a little worried. You may be worried about this person or worried about this situation because of the past. This person may have put you in third-party situations. Gosh, that was a lot of, notif a lot of notifications right there, okay? All right, this person may have put you in third-party situations. This person may have made you feel like, you know, a mess. So, obviously, this would worry you. This would have anybody worried, right? Because it's like, I don't know, can I trust this? Why is this person in my path? For one, you're a healer. So, this person is wounded. And you attract a lot of people who have wounds. You attract a lot of people who have trauma, who need healing because of your light. So, this person is extremely attracted to you because they need healing. And you're a healer. So, that's why they're so attracted to you. Aside from the fact that they got feelings for you. There's a lot of chemistry here because that song with the yearning, um, como se siente, is like, how does that feel? All right, there's a feeling that you and this person share that's like immense. And no matter who they date or how many people they talk to, nobody matches your energy. Nobody matches that vibe. So this is another reason why this person is up in your energy and is wanting to like, you know, come through because they're desperately coming through here with this music. Mm hmm. All right, so let's see what else is Paul Wan meant to hear today. What else do they need to know? But yeah, back to that main message we got in the very beginning. Like, there's no need to worry. Like, you may be worried or you may be concerned or this person may have gave you some PSD or what do you call that? PTSD or something. You know, they may have stressed you out. So you may be real worried, okay? But there's no need to worry is what I'm hearing. We have the nine of wands. Yeah, you've you've been through a lot with this situation, with this person in life, in your journey. I just see you, Pawan. You've been through it. The walls are up. You're definitely guarded. You're definitely being protected is what I'm being told to tell you right now. You are. Let me get some lipstick. Where's my lipstick? Why do I want lipstick right now? <laughs> Hold up. Okay, here it is. You may have been, you may have felt like going to Paul 3. I don't know. I'm just pulling that. No, nah, it's lip gloss. Okay. Yeah, I needed it. I don't know. Something about somebody's lips. All right. <laughs> Somebody likes my lips. All right. So, um, yeah, I see the walls are up. Where your walls are up, you're not really in this trustworthy energy. All right. People have put you through it. And therefore, the guards are up. The walls are up. You are being protected at this time. And I do see you ready, like you've been to war and you're a soldier, you're a survivor, you're a warrior. You are definitely a warrior. You're wounded right now, you're hurt, you're still healing. And so this person wanting to come back in your energy is like, ah, can I trust it? I don't know, can I trust you? All right, can I trust you? I'm not too sure, honey. All right, like that's the vibe I'm pulling here. Mm-hmm. Why is this message coming through? You're definitely being protected, though. And that's one thing the universe wants you to know. Like, you're protected, honey. Let me move my mic so my hands are more free. All right, so there's adjustments that are required. Being that I'm adjusting my mic, you need to make some sort of adjustments, okay? Adjustments will be needed. We have the tower. Ooh, okay, so... Honey, something's about to crumble. This is why this person is like yearning. Something happened here. This may have involved two people. This person that's in your energy and another person. Their tower is crumbling. And you don't even see it because you're looking other you're looking elsewhere. All right. So you're looking towards the past. But what you don't see in the near future is that there's a tower. Okay, so you may be looking at the past because you're, you're thinking about what happened, how people crossed you, how people hurt you, how this person severely like played you in some sort of way, shape or form. You know, like no one may have treated you the way this person treated you. And it's like it's offensive. But then there's still love. There's still this feeling. So it's kind of like, why is this in my energy? You know, so you're guarded, but you're still curious in a sense. And what I'm seeing, honey, is that destiny is at play. Destiny is at play with this tower here. Ooh, the universe wants you to know, honey. There's a tower, and it's coming down, all right? Somebody was trying to rain on your parade. Somebody was trying to take over your empire, or somebody was trying to, like, 
create an empire while hurting you or they may have hurt you to create an empire you know like they may have had to step on you to build their empire is what i'm getting okay and let me tell you karma is coming to collect okay that is what i'm being told karma is coming to collect so whoever stepped on you however they stepped on you energetically emotionally spiritually however this person stepped on you to create their empire mm, confirmation from timu mm -hmm. 12 55 on the clock all right um we have the seven of cups yeah this is an illusion all right so this is being hidden somebody was creating illusions and we have the queen of swords here somebody was really smart about this shit i'm sorry <laughs> i get really passionate guys let me just tell you all right um somebody yeah my left eye just twitched okay so somebody was putting a veil over somebody's eyes Somebody was trying to put a veil over somebody's eyes so they would have an illusion of what was going on. But the truth is being revealed because the tower's here. Now, when a tower moment happens, oh, honey. Holds up, holds up. Mm, this is fighting, all right? Because the tower is Mars. Mars is a very, like, it's a very... um passionate like fighting energy that's the way I, I could put it for you right now it's, it's a fighter energy it's a fighter i'm hearing fighter fight or flight okay so there's gonna be a fight and somebody's flying or somebody's fleeing okay when this tower comes down yeah i'm hearing ring around the rosies pocket full of posies ashes ashes we all fall down all right so there, this tower is falling, all right? Whoever stepped on you to create an, a tower, a, an empire, or whatever, yeah, it's being dissembled. And it's the universe is doing. This is not you. This is the universe that is dissembling this empire because it was created off of faulty foundation. It was faulty. It was fake. Whoever did whatever they did here to step on you to build themselves up, um, humiliate you, or hurt you to build something, yeah, their their whole empire is like crumbling down and it's two people. So this could have been someone you were connected to along with someone else, okay? Or this could be two people outside of that. You know, take it how it resonates. But I'm seeing two people flying out of this empire and it's burning down. There's no rebuilding this. And the truth is being revealed. The truth is being revealed that you were hurt, that you were wounded in this experience. And you're an angel, you're a healer. Like, you help people, like... Who wants to hurt somebody like this? Only someone that is wicked, right? So with the seven of cups here, all that smoke, all that illusion is disappearing because the tower's here. So illusions are being broken, all right? So you're going to see clear as day who is who and what is what, and so is everybody else because tower moments are very public, all right? They're not private moments where like, ooh, did you hear? No, it's like, whoa, did you hear what happened? Like, oh my gosh, like so-and-so and so-and-so, -and -so, like people's laundry being out in the street for a fact. Somebody's laundry is out in the street because they did some foul-ish here to get to where they went or or get what they wanted. And so that's being revealed. Someone's being revealed for who they are, the hermit. I see that um, after this matter, you're going to take a moment. Or you may have taken a moment, all right? Take it how it resonates because everybody's on a different timeline. This could have happened. It's happening or it's about to happen. So take it how it resonates. But I see like after the illusion breaks, after you see the reality of this situation and that someone, you know, stepped on you to build something that was fake, you know, to is like purposely like someone purposely stepped on you to build something because they wanted to have a, a castle. But it's a fake castle. It's an illusion. It's like. It's like, uh, I'm seeing Hollywood. You know how Hollywood be having them prompts where outside it looks like an apartment, it looks like a house, but then when you go inside, you see it's like a whole warehouse. Like, it's not even a real house. It's an illusion, all right? So somebody was creating some sort of illusion here that they were living this royalty life or that they, or they had this royal relationship or royal home, but it's not real and it's being revealed. And so I see you going within. I see you like soul searching after this. I see you seeing things clearly for what they are. All right. And 
this is definitely helping you to find your star. We have Virgo in the building. We also have a lot of fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Uh-huh. And I see you finding your star. I see you going within and really realizing what's what and who's who. And with this snow here, it's going to be a little cold, all right? But this is all happening so that you can have an awakening because you were, there was some sort of illusion put in front of you. There was a, a like, a cloth, a shield, a, a cloak put over your face so you won't see something for what it is. But you're seeing shit clear as day once this happens. And it's going to be shocking. That's what I'm hearing. It's going to be really shocking for you to see the truth and for you to know the truth. And it's going to be cold because what I see is that you're going to have to step away from a lot of people, not because you don't love them, not because you're a loner or anything like that, but because you need to find your own perspective about what just happened. Like you want to really like take a deep dive into that experience that you just experienced. So the universe wants you to know like everything is happening for personal growth. Everything is happening so that you walk towards your purpose where you're meant to be. You're not meant to be in no fake empire. You're not meant to be around any fake people, okay? Because it's it's keeping you from your purpose, your destiny here on earth. So you're being awakened mm -hmm. and you're finding that star within you. This is actually pushing you towards your north, your north node where you're walking towards your purpose and you're eliminating who needs to be eliminated. There's going to be no more confusion about who's who and what's what. Wow, that's deep. Okay, we have the five of wands. Whoa. Whoa. And I wanted like to fall off my hands. Okay, so the five of wands. Yeah, people are going to be very upset. There's a lot of people here. Okay, so this could be like a whole family. This could be like a, a work environment. This could be like a whole friend group. Um, There's a lot of people. All right, a lot of people are being called out. I don't know why these people wanted to step on you to create something, but apparently that's the message I'm getting. Like, a group of people wanted to step over you or step on you to create something false and it may have worked for a little while but the universe god the angels have created or is about to depending on what timeline you're on all right created an event to expose these frauds and i'm seeing people fighting each other these same people that work together to create this false foundation to create this false castle this false empire are now going to be fighting each other as you step away from this nonsense it's giving me a circus all right so as you step away from the circus to heal plus you like to be alone i see that <laughs> so you're gonna really enjoy this alone time as you step away all these people are fighting we have the king of pentacles all right so earth energy coming through taurus virgo capricorn um this could be in your chart this could be in this other these people's chart someone from this group because this is a group of people like this one person in particular okay that's like the ringleader but there's a group of people here like this group helped this person do this to you and it's like they all work together and it's so weird and so i see that you're gonna be on your throne at the end of the day, and this is what the universe wants you to know, at the end of the day, you're going to be on your throne. You're going to have resources at your feet. You're solid, and you're going to stay solid, and you're going to be good, especially financially if you were worried about that. Because I do see you wounded, and I do see you feeling very much alone, like you got to fight. You don't got to fight. You're being protected. These other folks, though, that try to play with your energy, play with your emotions, oh, they're going to be fighting. Whew, okay. Okay. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the tower. All right, so this is like towers after towers. What's going on here, Pa One? All right, so there's a lot being exposed. It's like one exposure, two exposure, three exposure, four. All right, that's why there's so many people fighting because everybody's being revealed for who they truly are. All right, they. I heard wanksters. Okay, so some some of these people may act like they're tough, big and bad gangsters, but they're not. All right, I'm hearing like. These folks really like worked extra time, overtime to make whatever this is work. But if you see this house here, this could be in regards to a house. It could be in regards to a home or some sort of um, family dynamic or something you may have built or something that was built. I don't know. I'm getting that. But you see this house I was built. It does not look stable. It doesn't. 
It just takes one strike, pew, and it's down. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting that strongly. Like something's being striked from above, from God, the angels, the universe, and this is divine. It's a divine intervention. All right, enough is enough. You know what I'm getting? Like the universe allowed God, the universe, the angels allowed these folks to play this game. So you could see how far some people in your life will go to go against you for their own personal gain. You get it? So this is a big realization. All right. We have the world. Yeah. You're definitely distancing yourself from these folks, whoever these folks are, whatever this is, you're distancing yourself from this and you're meant to. And I see you on the path like you're, you're going within mass fish disguise not showing false identity yeah like this is somebody's identity like being exposed okay somebody had like a real like they're goofy though like i feel like whoever this person is they're really goofy okay they're like really like once their mask is exposed you're gonna see this person for a whole nother person and they are so goofy you're gonna you're gonna feel like i can't believe it like you're you really like it's one of those moments like tag like I would have never thought that about you, but it makes sense, you know? Like, mm -hmm. somebody's mask is coming off. Somebody had a false identity, and you're realizing who's who and what's what. We got petty with all the Barbies, all right? Immature, closed-minded, reckless. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, all right? Somebody may have a lot of plastic surgery or something like that, but somebody here, one of these clowns, I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm very straight up, all right, because these are clowns. Look, they all look like clowns. Doesn't it look like clown clothes? Like they aren't, they're, they're in a circus or something? Yeah. One of these clowns um, definitely is petty. Like, they're all petty, but one of them is really petty. Thank you, Spirit. Like, very closed-minded, very immature, my way or the highway. It's what I want, and it is what it is. I don't care how you feel. I don't care how anybody feels. It's what I want. It's what I want. They're reckless, and I see you guarding yourself from this petty person. Someone's mask is being exposed and you're guarding yourself from this petty ass person. You're like, oh no, you're realizing this person's fake. They're Barbie. Prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. All right, so yeah, Taurus does speak about home, family, stability. So I do feel like somebody's home, somebody's stability or somebody's like dynamic relationship was exposed or was dissembled. But it's so that you can have prosperity, okay? That's what I'm getting here, where prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. Somebody could be a Taurus, all right? But yeah, this is actually going to bring you prosperity, a lot of abundance, especially with this king of pentacles over here. I don't do sex. I do energy, okay? Like, you're coming up off of this. Like, I don't know how or why or who or who. I'm just seeing what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that as you soul search, find your star and do your healing and cleansing, like prosperity is in your future and maybe these folks these clowns knew this and maybe they knew this maybe they got readings who knows you know i'm pulling like they wanted to slow you down they didn't want you to have your own stability they didn't want you to be prosperous okay they didn't want you to be abundant and this is what you're meant to be you're meant to be abundant and so prosperity lies ahead for you and it's going to be shocking because the tower is over it so it's going to shock these folks that as you separate yourself from them, your life grows, your life expands. Mm -hmm. South node. All right. So you know why you were confused or why this was so confusing or why there was a veil over your eyes? Because there was some sort of debt here, past lives. Okay. You and these and this person, I'm getting specifically one person, you guys have a past life together. And so there was unfinished business here between you and this person. There was a lesson that needed to be learned. And that lesson wasn't fully learned. That's why you were a bit confused. So this is someone that made you feel like comfortable. This is someone that you may know since you were a child or since childhood or there's something here about you feeling very familiar to this person and this person feeling very familiar to you. And that's why this person was able to put a veil or put this cloak over your eyes where, hold on. <laughs> Bless me. Thank you. All right. Confirmation. Okay. That's why you were able to. <laughs> Confirmation. I'm so sorry, guys. Bless me. <laughs> that's why they were able to put this veil over your eyes because it felt like home. 
self note is the comfort zone this is the this is the zone where you feel comfy where you feel comfortable but you're not growing this is that potato couch vibe you know what i'm saying where you're happy on the couch eating your potato chips but guess what you're gaining weight you're not growing you're not doing nothing you're being lazy there's no product there's no productivity from the couch you know what i'm saying so this is why this person was able to put this veil over your eyes or these people were able to put the veil over your eyes because it was it made you feel comfortable in some way shape or form but it was a lesson at play, all right? It was debt. This was debt that needed to be paid. Mm -hmm. And you learned it, and guess what? Or you're learning it. And we have Jupiter here. As you distance yourself, is underneath the hermit. The hermit's alone. The hermit goes into his own bubble or her own bubble, however you see fit, and isolates themselves to do a soul search journey, to go through the dark night of the souls, to work on that shadow, to work on and face that energy that was pre previously experienced. You know, it's like you're reviewing your notes from class. Like, wow, where did I go left? What happened here? You know, it's like this is where you're going to be at when you isolate yourself from these folks. And guess what happens, Jupiter? This is the Wheel of Fortune, all right? This is literally lucky, lucky energy. Your luck expands. Your luck explodes. Like, literally, luck, abundance, growth, success, fulfillment, happiness, travel, change. All right? This is exploration. This is growth. It all happens as you remove yourself from the noise. All these towers, all these explosions, all this revelation is happening so you know who's who and what's what. So you could remove yourself from the crowd from these circus people and so you could go towards your destiny prosperity abundance joy comfortability real comfortability not that oh i'm comfortable on the couch eating my chips no this is that comfortability where you have enough room for everyone and everyone in your life you know like you your pets your kids whoever you have going you know whoever's in your home this is that comfortability where you don't have to worry about money you don't have to worry about um like your bills, you know, that comfortability where you're not stressing the 3D things, house, cars, money, clothes, those type of things. This is your expansion here. And it's happening as you take yourself away from these folks. Mm -hmm. We have Saturn here, wisdom. You have the wisdom, all right? These people are fighting because they wanted you in the seven of cups. They wanted you confused. They wanted you not seeing the truth behind a certain matter. And now that you're going to see the truth because you're stepping out of the south node, going towards the north node, which is your abundance, um, you're seeing the truth for what it is, and you're stepping into this wisdom. You're stepping into discipline, okay? Mm. You're stepping into discipline, all right? You're, step to, you're stepping into some sort of structure. It is time for you to be responsible with your life. It is time for you to be responsible with those around you. You are definitely being tested. Saturn is the world. We have the world here. So we have major arcanas repeating themselves. We got two towers and we got two worlds, all right? So this is you closing out chapters that need to be closed out in your life, all right? This is you realizing that you're bigger and you need to get out of that shell. You know when a, um, it's kind of like when a snail knows like, all right, I'm too big for this shell. I need to go off to another shell because I'm not comfortable in this shell. When the minute you feel uncomfortable, that's because you're growing and it's time to move. So you're getting that feeling throughout all of this. The universe is exposing things so you could get that confirmation that what you're feeling is true. You're outgrowing people and places, and it's time for you to grow. And that's the wisdom you're receiving. So I see you becoming more disciplined. I see you becoming um, more solid with self. I see you having more ambition, more self-control. Okay, I do see that. I see you maturing, I do, and I see you grounding yourself and being more, like I'm getting tradition, all right? You're not being flaky, you're not just winging it, you're actually doing things with integrity. Not that you weren't, but you're gonna focus more on that now. Now, sorry guys, I'm over here now with the sniffles, I don't know what's going on, all right? You may be crying or sniffling, I don't know what's going on because I did not have the sniffles before I started this reading. All right, so we have last quarter moon in Pisces. Pisces is the spiritual house. She's holding amethyst. So like I said, I don't do sex. I do energy. You may want to connect to amethyst, okay? 
talk less, feel more. The hermit does not talk. The hermit is quiet. The hermit is in his own bubble processing what's going on in life, gaining wisdom and knowledge from experience. And that's what I feel like you're going through, Pawan. Like right now, that's what you're doing. And spirit is saying, the universe is saying, talk less. Don't speak what you're doing. Don't say where you're going. Don't express yourself to certain people. Talk less and feel more, all right? Center yourself. Isolate yourself. Process. Listen to your intuition, okay? Number four, courtship, all right? So there's love coming in, honey. Look at Cupid back there, all right? So you got love coming in, mm-hmm. Abundance. Keep a positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude, bliss. Yeah, there's money coming your way. And I, like it's falling underneath that prosperity lies ahead. All right. So I don't know if people were trying to block your blessings or they were or they know that you're destined for prosperity. You're destined for a lot in life. And they wanted to like keep you small, but you don't feel comfortable there. You need a bigger shell because you're meant for greatness. You're meant for something bigger. And it's coming abundance. And then we got coffin. New beginnings, liberation, reborn, and transition, tragic endings. All right, so you may have lost somebody in the mix of all of this. And my condolences if you did. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um, but what I'm getting here, Pa One, is that you're ending things here with this coffin energy, especially with the world energy coming out twice. You're ending things with certain people places it could be family it could be friends these are big endings these are not little endings okay this is these are endings that reshape you endings that rebirth you all right it's liberation so you may have felt tied to these people or you may have felt tied up and what i'm seeing is that as you cut the cord as you release yourself from this dynamic this situation like you release yourself and you feel like you're flying like you got wings you feel like you're flying you're liberated you're free but it's sad because as you're feeling good and uplifted others are feeling hurt but you know what those same people that feel hurt those are the same people that wanted to keep you small. So keep that in mind. Don't feel bad for those that are hurting because you're growing. It's not your fault. This is your destiny. You shouldn't have to apologize for your blessings. We have caring connection number 14. All right. So I do see you and someone else. And I see that, like I said, courtship. Someone's coming in. Four could be very significant because we have four and then 14. 18 could be significant, all right? But I do see you in a very caring connection, and I see you're meant to be in this connection. And then we have envy, number 20, okay? So, and it's falling right, right on top of that five of wands, all right? So you're stepping away from a group of people or a lot of people because they're envious of a beautiful connection that you're meant to have. This is either a connection that's around you right now or a connection that's coming in. But with the envy on top of this group of people, this group of people envy your connections. They envy your love life for whatever reason, and they don't want you in this connection. So it's clear as day. Spirit is telling you straight up and down. This group of people are envious of your relationship. Look at that, 41, which is like 14 backwards. So 41, 14, this could be very significant. All right, we have soulmates. You have a soulmate, pal one. You have a soulmate that you're meant to be with. This is a very beautiful, caring relationship. And I see that you guys are definitely going to be very clingy to one another. Like, I'm getting a lot of hugs, a lot of cuddling. Because if you can see in this card, the penguins are, like, really holding each other. All right? And penguins, when it comes to love, they partner up and they have one mate. And that's their mate forever. Okay? So I feel like this is your forever mate, pal one. And if you see in this card, they're hugging up too, like, and they're happy. Someone really likes flowers. Someone could wear like a red necklace or studs. Someone um, may have long hair. Someone could be very hairy. All right. Someone could be a little taller than the other. There could be a height difference. All right. But I'm seeing like a very loving connection here. And I'm seeing you courting this person or this person courting you. And this is something that this group of people or this family dynamic or whoever these folks are were trying to prevent from happening they were really working hard to not let this connection or this relationship come into play why because they were envious all right we have life energy 
The happy fairy of sunshine brings lots of life giving energy. She reminds you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed. You hear the sirens back there? All right, so this is basically a message from the life energy fairy, okay? And what the life energy fairy is telling you here today is that anything that's in the shadows should be brought to light so that way it could be healed whether that's you bringing it to light to god your angels the universe your family your lover whoever it is that you feel like you need to bring this to light to it needs to be brought to light so that it's falling on top of coffin all right so that way you could release this shadow energy, something that's dark, something that may be a secret, something that may be weighing heavily on your chest, on your soul, something that you really need to release. It's shadow for a reason. It's in the dark. So spirit is saying you need to put light on these shadow matters in your life so that way they are released. And that way you leave it behind and you move forward with clear, transparent energy. We have message number seven. I feel like you will be talking to this caring person, all right? This loving person very soon with this message, all right? So they may be messaging you or vice versa, however you see fit, but I do see you guys speaking. And seven plus seven is 14, okay? So I do feel like, I don't know, I'm like doing a lot of math here. Somebody may really like math, all right? But <laughs> 14, yeah, because seven plus seven. I see you guys messaging back and forth. Like I see, and it's an important message with this stamp cm could be significant all right we have number 12 every journey starts with a single step all right so don't feel bad and there's a luggage here so somebody may be packing things up look at the luggage somebody may be packing things up or moving or changing and this girl's naked regardless of sex you're like what i'm getting here is that the universe is stripping you naked, pa one. Okay? Everything is being seen. Everything is being revealed. Why? Because it's time for you to grow. Everything is being stripped. Everyone is being stripped. So you could see these people naked for who they truly are. So you could decide who gets to come and who doesn't get to go. But I feel like you're not taking anyone with you with this hermit energy. I feel like you're choosing yourself. And you're choosing caring connections true connections to take on with you but every step starts with a single step all right every journey starts with a single step so it only takes one step to move forward you don't have to run you don't have to jump you don't have to like do anything extravagant all right it just takes that one step towards the right direction to be on that journey and i feel like you're you're on your way there mm -hmm. we got rebel all right, so you challenge people. You challenge authority. You challenge people in social standings or however you see fit. But you do challenge people. And you reject people that don't serve your inner needs, okay? So this is like, like people feel like you're mean. <laughs> people feel like you're a little bit of an ass or whatever, you know, because you don't stand for people's shit, okay? Let's talk about it. If they're not... If they're not helping you or if they're not adding to your life, you're just not for it, all right? And it's like you challenge people. And that's what I'm seeing with these towers. Like things are being revealed and you're challenging people. And you're noticing that certain people just don't have your highest interest your highest good at, at interest at all. Like, I'm seeing that. Like, you're just, like, on this couch, but the couch is on top of a tree. So, like, you're way up seeing people with, below you. And you're like, huh, look at that one. Look at this one. All right? And there, people are seeing you as rebellious. People are seeing you as, like, oh, you're pushing back. Oh, you're rude. Or you're not nice. But it's like, no. I just picked up on the fact that you don't have my good in your interest. You're not doing for me. You're doing for you. And if it's not helping me or benefiting me, honey, deuces to you. And there's nothing rebellious about that. You're just standing in your truth. You're realizing we have God here, all right? So you are literally protected, honey bunny, for sure. And God is watching over you. God wants you to know, honey, you are protected, okay? And I see you recognizing that there's like this eternal force within you 
Like, you're realizing that you have this special gift and it's really making me feel weird inside because I'm vibrating in it, all right? You feel like you have this special gift. You're recognizing who you are. You're bigger than life in a sense, and I don't mean to gas you, Paul one, but you do have this light. You do have a gift. And this, you ever heard of the term, your light irritates their demons? Like, that's real life here, Paul one. Your light irritates other people's demons. And this could be people you love. And that sucks. And trust and believe that I've been there, okay? And it's like, it's sad because you love these people or this person. And it's unfortunate, but they want to keep you small. And God wants you to be who you're meant to be. You were given a gift. You were given a light because you have a purpose here on earth. And the distractions have been going on long enough, long enough for you to learn the lesson. You have either learned the lesson or you're learning the lesson. So God is removing these people from your life with purpose, okay? But you're realizing you have this eternal force within you that's like, whoa, you're an Avenger. <laughs> yeah, you're realizing you're an Avenger. Like, you're a superhero. Like, you're here to help people. And you have this, de you have this desire within you anyway. Like, you've had this, you have had, I can't even say it. That's how exciting it is. All right, you have had this inner desire to balance the world, to help people since you were young. You have had this inner desire to create justice for others. You have this righteousness to yourself. You have this side to you where you just want to save everyone. And it's because you're meant to help everyone. All right, and, and I see you stepping into this energy. Okay, and these people did not want you to be this, this Avenger, but you're meant to be an Avenger. And then we got the fool here more mask energy all right so you're revealing like you're fearlessly revealing your emotions like you're you're naked you're leaving naked you're letting people know what time it is you're literally putting yourself out there like you're doing it with no fear like i am who i am i like what i like i am into who i'm into and i want what i want and it is what it is all right and i see you like using humor to help people too like when you heal people like you throw a joke in there like you know like you you spin it and it's really cute i like how you do that and other people like how you do that too like you you tend to twist you know pain and make it humor where it's easier to heal but i'm seeing that yes you're realizing that you're gonna have to be honest with some people and you're gonna have to be straightforward with some people and yourself all right, because it's time to pack it up. And I see you packing it up and going into a new world where you're going to be in this lovely, caring relationship where you're meant to be. And you're realizing that these folks are very envious of your light because you're unique and you're favored. And just know that God has your back, sweetheart. Mm hmm. All right. So listen, this was deep. And honestly, like, whoa, I'm like, my energy is like, whew. It's like really somewhere else right now. I'm going to have to like meditate a little bit before I even do the extended. All right. Because I am going to go into the extended. I want to know about this caring relationship right here. We, You have a beautiful soulmate caring relationship right here. And I want to know all about that. So we're going to tap into that in the extended. We're not doing the charms because we're 42 minutes in and it's really, you know, a lot and let me just tell you part one like tapping into your energy it made me nauseous i'm not trying to be mean or anything but guys you need to heal all right you need to ground yourself you may be very nervous right now you may be very um exhausted or feeling like on the edge you need to heal you need to ground yourself baby drink more water all right go into mother nature hug a tree put your feet in the ground on the soil is gonna help and when my nose running, I feel like some of you guys have been crying. Like, this, this is a lot. This is a lot. This is like a, a big revelation, okay? This is life changing. But that's because you're changing, Pawan, okay? Yes, and I applaud you for everything you're doing and everything you have gone through. This is like literally life changing. All right, so we're going into the extended, which will be listed down below, bless the link, where I'm going to go into this caring relationship because I see courtship here. So this is... This is either in the works or it's coming in. So we're going to talk about that in the extended blaze. All right. Because clearly it's something big for everybody to be so envious of it. You know, like, gosh. <laughs> and that's that. Pa one, I love you. I really do. It was tough 
doing your reading, but I am going to go meditate now. <laughs> it was worth it. I'm happy I was able to give you this message. If you need to rewatch it, rewatch it, okay? I am so happy for you. And listen, just know that it's up from here, okay? The worst is behind you. Confirmation. Nike, just do it, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love, light, and everything nice. My OGs, you know what time it is. Guys, if you haven't already, do subscribe. Hit that bell button. Let's get it. Let's go so you get more content like so bless and i love you guys so much if i don't see you in the extended i hope to see you in the comments and if not in the next one all right guys i love you we are here we are all together and i am sending you so much light i love you pal one this is blessed <laughs> Hey, Pal2, how are you doing, boo? It is your girl, Jalissa. If you chose this card, you hear that loud airplane in the back? No pun intended. I think that's the. I think that's what people say, right? <laughs> anyway, you heard the airplane. Here's the airplane. Bam, bam, boom. This is your card, okay? <laughs> now, let me actually close my sliding door because then we're going to hear airplanes all day. And no, I did not do that on purpose. I actually, um, I live near an airport. Okay, so that's why you heard the plane. <laughs> so, um, no, I didn't do that on purpose. Actually, um, I had that open because I was meditating after Pal 1. I don't know, guys. I'm just gonna, like, put it out there. The energies have been immense today. I don't know. My channel is just so intense. It's like... Even catching me by surprise. All right, let's go. Bless. Yeah. I had to take like a moment after I did part one because um, like when I mean energies were intense, I, I'm used to like hopping in and out of different portals, energies and whatnot, right? But that energy was just, and I still feel it. I'm, I haven't connected in a few days because I took some time to like, you know, meditate, recharge. And I don't know what, what's going on, but I'm super sensitive right now. I mean, that's good for y'all. <laughs> Spooky for me. <laughs> anyway, let's go. We'll be chatting here all day. All right, spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear, please come through and help me channel this message here today. For Pautu, thank you. Blaze, what is Pautu's angel number spirit? Um, okay, so we have two, one, two. That gives me Manhattan. All right, Manhattan. All right, somebody could be from Manhattan or New York. Two and two. All right, um, so when you have a chance, go to your search engine, put in two one two angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your message from Spirit Babe. Bless. And do share, do share, do share. Yeah, so like um, I'm gonna have to get adjusted to this new energy flow. Like, whoa, this is so different. It's I, I can't even explain it. How do you explain magic, right? Um <laughs> I can't. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to tap in with my music oracle deck and get a vibe out here. I'm gonna, I'm obviously going to pull what the universe wants you to know right now. So these are going to be general messages from the universe, God, your angels, to you here today through me. And it's going to be intense. I'm warning you now. All right. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels. Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear, please come through and help me channel this message here today for Paul too. Thank you. Bless. All right, Spirit, what's the vibe? What's the energy yo, for Paul too? What is the message? What's the first message you want to come through for Paul too? What would you like to say? What would be the vibe? What would be the energy? All right, we have admire what you want mace tell me what you want from me oh that's my song by the way this is my new deck it's coming it's not the final print but i'm using it because i'm just that excited and then we have throw it in the bag fabulous i'm going to spoil you oh snapples okay <laughs> my type of vibe all right so <laughs> you have an admirer pal too okay mm-hmm 
this admirer of yours. Ooh. All right. Let's let's just let's just read the lyrics. Okay. Tell me what you want from me. Take a look at what you see. Let me know if it's right here. Something that you can have for years. Now may be the man want to see you doing good. I don't want to give rich, leave you in the hood. Girl, in my eyes, you the baddest. The reason why I love you, you don't like me because my status. Ooh. All right, so somebody got some status out here. Okay, yeah, your admirer has status. And apparently, they feel like you like them. Okay, so you may know this person or you're gonna. Okay, this is something that's coming through, all right? The universe wants you to notice, honey. Okay, so they got status. They're either popular, celeb vibes, um. They, they, they have some sort of caliber. I don't know, honey, but they're, they're up there, apparently, and they got it because they want to spoil you because we have here, I'm going to spoil you. <laughs> Throw it in the bag. Look at price tags. Where they do that at? Heard that in ATL. Somebody could be from ATL. When I'm in ATL, just ask my baby girl. I cheat that lady well. Ain't nothing so-so. I know JD well. Who's JD? Anyway, a couple of Benzes, black, white, gray, CL. God dudes looking like, did we miss a Mercedes sale? Don't wonder what I do. Just know they pay me well. They keep that Gucci and that Louis on that Lady L's. Fab, if you hear, don't kill me, okay? <laughs> That's the way we feel. Must be nice, man. You with the right, man. You ain't got a price scan. Or ask how much. Now what I look like. Son, I'm from Brooklyn. What it look like. You got it because I got it. I got it so you get it. In Miami, they say don't stop. Get it, get it. Mommy, do the speedy. Daddy, do the duffel. Bag full of chips. We ain't talking ruffles. Ooh. <laughs> that gave me the goosebumps. All right. <laughs> um, Vibes. Okay, so listen. Somebody could be from ATL. Somebody could drive a Benz, all right? Um, somebody likes to wear Gucci and Louis, okay? Designer stuff. Somebody could be from Brooklyn, all right? Um, speedies and duffel bags, and somebody may like to gamble with the bag full of chips. We ain't talking ruffles. We're talking about chips, you know, from the casinos. Um, <laughs> but this is an admirer you got, apparently, and this is a type of person that um, has, has rhythm, mm-hmm. And they have style. And you know what it is that got their eye on you, Pautu? The thing that has their eye on you is that... It's like, I don't know. You may not know. I don't know. This is like... You know what it is? It's like, you know. All right? It's like, you're going to know. You're going to know who this person is. You're going to know. But the thing is, also, what I'm getting, Pautu, is like... It's not about that. You know? It's not about the labels. It's not about the status. It's not about the Benjamins. It's not about what this person has to offer. You know, it's not about the labels or the designer. It's like you see them for them is what I'm getting, pal, to. So the universe wants you to know that you got someone that's watching you, admiring you, that's very much interested in you that is very well off and the reason they are interested in you is because you're different you're not like the regular person okay i have a call coming in be right back <laughs> okay i'm back i apologize for that part too i just had to get that phone call so anywho i feel like um, there's going to be an important phone call that definitely is coming your way part two something you may be expecting bless all right so we have travel here your life purpose involves traveling we did hear that plane back there as well all right i feel like traveling and computers are significant you being online or this could be like you connecting like if this is not you traveling around the world this is you like connecting with people around the world through the computer, through the internet, through your phone devices, you know, because I get that. Like, you don't have to necessarily fly around the world to travel, you know. You could literally travel through the internet. Yeah, I connect with people all around the world every day. And I'm not traveling, all right? So, like, it, it take it how it resonates, okay, Paul too? But I do feel that a very powerful message is coming through for you here today. And your life purpose is either on a plane or 
online. Yeah, like whatever it is you do for your life purpose, it involves you connecting with the world at large. And in connecting with the world at large, I do feel like you're going to cross paths with this person here who is, I don't know, a shot caller. I don't know. <laughs> someone very powerful is what I'm getting. Okay. Someone that has status, someone that is not looking for, because you know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing that. What, what was, what's that movie called? The Eddie Murphy movie um, where he's a king and he comes to New York to look for his queen. And she like, he comes, what is that movie called? something America, something, I don't know. Guys, let me know in the comments because I'm seeing that movie right now. And in that movie, Eddie Murphy was the prince and he was being arranged to marry. His father arranged him to marry someone and it was like someone perfect, but it wasn't perfect for him because he wanted to actually have a connection with someone. You know, like he wanted his his marriage to be real he didn't just want someone on his sleeve you know so he left he went on a 40-day trip or something and he's like he picked a random place new york and then he said he's looking for a queen so he went to queens all right somebody could be from queens okay um and i guess he thought that the, that queens had queens or <laughs> whatever and he ended up out here and you know he disguised himself as a uh, a janitor or whatnot working for a wannabe mcdonald's and like you know the long that story is like i'm not gonna go into that story you may already know the movie you know but the point is that he disguised that he was the prince he disguised that he was rich he had his own money he had money printed with his picture on it you know he disguised all of that because he wanted to fall for someone and he wanted to make sure that whoever he fell for he had a genuine connection with and that's what ended up happening like he ended up finding um this girl that he like fell head over heels and whatnot and whatever and they fell happily ever after and she became the next princess queen however it goes all right so i feel like you're bumping into someone like that mm -hmm. like it's shocking but it's true all right so i don't know like you're meeting someone and you may think that they're one way but they're really another way so you may think they're average but to your surprise you're gonna find out that they're royalty <laughs> nice <laughs> all right confirmation all right spirit ancient ancestors universe spiritual guides angels yamaya archangel michael my lord my savior source god poseidon mama bear please come through and help me channel this message here today for part two thank you so much bless spirit can you talk to me what message is it what is the message that part two is here to hear aside from the fact that they're gonna have like this million billion dollar i don't know admirer crusher <laughs> For real, that's the vibe it's giving. Like, whoever this person is, they're well off. They're in a very well position. And that's why they're looking for someone that... Like, that's why they're disguising themselves as somebody they're not. Because they want to find somebody that truly feels them, loves them for who they are. Not what they got, you know? And I feel that, all right? Because there's a lot of people out here that just want to deal with you because of your status, your money, what you can offer, you know? And then... It's just sad. It's shady, you know? So, yeah, there's that. All right, so let's see. All right. What message is Paul Tu meant to hear right now from the universe? Somebody could wear glasses. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> we have the four of wands. All right, so stability. Oh, I'm getting marriage? Okay. <laughs> nice all right so um pal two your stability is definitely meant to be strong i do see your stability very very strong your home is coming out here i'm seeing celebrations all right there's gonna be a celebration here a union is being celebrated at a home three of wands okay in the near future i'm seeing a union being celebrated at a home in the near future you manifested this you manifested a union and it's coming in darling it is and it's giving me like i'm just hearing hallelujah 
<laughs> like I'm 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 feeling like you're gonna be very thankful and I feel like you're gonna be very happy about this. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. All right. Okay, I see you focused. All right. I see you very focused at work. All right, I see you very focused at work. Okay. Is this coming in while they're at work? This is very interesting. Like, I see you at work, very focused, thinking about the future, thinking about, like, I just see you really focused, thinking about the future, thinking about what you want, thinking about your home, thinking about stability, thinking about marriage, possibly even a pregnancy, the empress, all right? Yeah, I see you so focused that you're manifesting so much in such little time. Wow. Okay. Four of swords. All right. So we got 44. We started with four. We end with four. 44 could be significant. We have the moon here. Okay. A lot is being hidden from you. All right. So a lot is being hidden from you, pal, too. Mm-hmm. You may feel like this mysterious vibe around you right now. Like things are not really settling. Okay. Like you may feel like you want change like you're very focused on change you're very focused is what i'm seeing like pal two you're very focused you're focused on your future you're very focused on work you're very focused on like excelling is what i'm getting i see you wow i see you on your throne you're in this fertility energy pal too is what the universe wants you to know and the fact that you're so focused like be very careful what you focus on because whatever you're focusing on right now you're literally manifesting maybe not in an instant like abracadabra but like pretty fast and so you need to rest all right part of this part of what's going on right now you may be feeling maybe a little bit um like so laser focus on the future that you're not really giving yourself time right now to rest let me see what's behind this i'm so curious yeah look a lot of work all right you're working a lot or you're focused a lot on work it's like you're you're wanting to perfect something or you're wanting to do something or you're searching for something it's like you want to perfect work you want to do things right at work with this moon, your intuition is growing, all right? You're very much connected to source. You're very much connected to the universe. Um, you feel like you're not being seen at work or you feel like something's being hidden from you at work or something like that. So you're working extra hard. But honey, I see people watching you. All right, so this is not in the now. This is in the this is in the near future. I see people watching you. I see you being admired, and I do see you getting recognition for your work. Whatever it is, you may do, um, you may use your hands because there's a hammer here, there's a nail, there's a cup. All right, so you may use your hands for work or um, your energy, but your hands are very important, and so you are getting the recognition that you are seeking. And you're very focused on work, 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 work. All right. Um, and that is coming in. Your stability is coming in. Recognition is coming in. But you need to rest is what the universe wants to tell you here today. You on your throne, honey. All right. You looking good. You got your crown on. Whether you believe it or not, whether you want to acknowledge it or not, because you so lasered focused on work that you're not even looking at yourself. I see you. All right. You are it, honey. You are flourishing and you are in a top tier energy, but you're too focused on something, whether that is work or something in particular, like you're very lasered focused on this, that I feel like you're not giving yourself that energy where you're not pouring back into yourself. And whatever you're focused on is something tangible. It could be a home, a car, work, money, status, you know, um, Grove, there's something here you're very focused on, and I'm seeing that it's gonna be different for all of you. Um, but I do see like you're growing because the three becomes the four, 
So, and then the three becomes the eight. Like, you're growing very fast. And that's what the universe wants you to know. It's being hidden from you with the moon here. But you do feel it intuitively. You may feel it in, the, in your intuition. Like, things are going to grow. Things are happening. They are. They are definitely happening. But you need to rest. That's a big message that you're receiving here. You need to rest. I see your home being highlighted, and it's looking really up. It's looking good. I see you in a home. I see you with someone in a home. You're not alone in a home. I see you, like, it's a couple. It's a couple dynamic. I see pregnancy. So if you're not looking for pregnancy, be, be very careful, okay? Um, I'm seeing that, and I'm seeing healing. I'm seeing you doing a lot, but you need to focus on that healing, the more you focus on the healing, the more powerful you actually become, the more um, successful you actually become, you know? All right, so let's see what else we got here. We have soul lessons. Look for the learning experience. Look at that. Yeah, you need to heal, honey. All right, as you heal, you glow, okay? You have this beautiful energy. You have been going through many lessons, soul lessons, okay? And... What spirit is saying to you right now is to look for the learning experience. Look for the look for what you have learned in the experiences that you have experienced. Okay, this is what needs to be healed. You see how how I mentioned like you're focused a lot on something. You may be distracting yourself from healing. All right, you may be focusing so much on money, work, status. You know the the three D things in the world. You know like. That matter, of course, but you may be so lasered focused on that, that you're not focusing on your soul. Your soul has gone through something because the four comes after the three. You were either in a third party situation or you were really hurt emotionally. And with the church being back here, um, somebody could have sinned or something. You know, we're not going to go there, but the church is being shown here. Maybe you feel like you need to go to church. Maybe you feel like you need to pray on this. All right. But prayer never hurts. It does help. And what I'm getting here is that your heart has been in pain. And instead of focusing on that, your lesson, your soul lesson, learning the experience you have just recently gone through, you're focusing more on money. You're focusing more on your work. And so what the universe is saying is, baby, listen, you're going to get everything you want plus more. All right. You are. But right now you need to refocus your energy and heal because that needs that needs more light right now the light shouldn't be on work the light shouldn't be on money the light shouldn't be on status endeavors the light should be on your heart because your heart has gone through some tough ass experience that hurt you and you need to rest you need naps <laughs> you need to definitely be alone you need to rest your mind. You need to get clarity. You need to meditate, do yoga, go for a walk, go for a bike ride. You need this time by yourself because this is going to help mend your heart. Your heart still needs some healing, my love. All right. And you may feel this, but you're not seeing this. And so that's your message today. I'm getting very strongly. You are like an indigo child, Pao Tu. You're gifted. You have this beautiful gift. You were born with a gift. You were born with a light. And that's why you're able to manifest everything you're manifesting here. Okay? That's why. But I feel like you need to give more of your energy to you instead of to the things around you, if that makes sense. All right, we have, oh, look at that. Narcissistic abuse. Stop being a victim in toxic relationships and recovery from narcissistic mothers, parents, and partners with psychopathic and sociopathic personality. Healing from emotional abuse. All right, this is a book. You may want to get this book, all right? Screenshot that, all right? is being brought up here this book all right so this is a book babe you may want to get this book all right so you were dealing with a narcissist that's where this four swords comes from this is something you are either going through or you went through okay and you're a victim i don't want to say victim you're a survivor 
Yes, you're a survivor, pal, too. You survived some sort of toxic-ass relationship. And this could be a relationship with a mother, um, a father, a lover, a partner, or whatnot, all right? This is, you have dealt with this growing up. And whoever this person is that you recently dealt with that has this narcissistic tendency definitely relates to someone from your past. So this could be like a partner, a friend, or a lover that reminds you of a mother or father or an auntie or an uncle or something of that nature, all right? Because that's the way it's being given to me here in this message. So you're used to dealing with certain type of people, narcissistic type of people, don't come for me, Paul, too. It's what, it's what I'm getting, okay? So let's get back to it because I'm here, too. Hello. All right? I could connect to this. I have a narcissistic-ass father. All right? Let's throw it out there. Okay? So there you go. We're on the same boat. All right? So <laughs> just saying because some people don't want to hear the noise, but it's like you got to hear the noise to understand the beat. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so boom, back to this. So, yeah, you were dealing with some sort of narcissist. And this narcissist that you was dealing with, baby, um, they remind you of somebody that you either grew up with or you were, you're very familiar with. And so you felt bad for this person. You took some sort of behavior from this person. And you tried to help this person or heal this person or be there for this person because you understood the abuse or you understood this person or you felt bad for this person and you wanted to save them because you're a healer, right? And so instead, they ended up making you a victim, but not really because you're a survivor. And this is abuse. And this is what you're not focusing on. And this is what you need to focus on. So that way your heart could finish mending. Your heart could finish healing. You dealt with a narcissist. This is a gaslighter. This is someone that will lie to your face, cry to your face, and make themselves the victim in this story. You know how there's always a story, there's a victim, and then there's a hero, and then there's a villain, right? They're, they're always the victim in the story. Oh, no, this person's doing this to me. Oh, no, it's that person. Meanwhile, you could see clear as day, black and white, that they are the villain, but they paint themselves out to be the victim instead of being the villain because they always want you to feel bad for them, because they always want to be in your world, because after they abuse you, they're not done abusing you. They want to abuse you some more because they need your energy. You have this beautiful energy, Pautu. You have this golden energy. It's priceless. It literally does not have a price. You can't buy this shit in a store. I'm so sorry. You know, like you have this beautiful energy and this person juices you. This person and sucks that energy out of you so you may have come to a realization of this or you're coming to a realization of this abuse and this is what you need to heal this is why you need to rest and i feel like that message came through because it was something that you may have needed maybe this is confirmation that this person is always playing the victim when they're really the villain this is the type of person that will literally set set up a trap and start some drama, start some like crazy dramatic shit, and then say it wasn't them. Is the type of person that throws a rock and hides their hands because they like to stir the pot. They like the drama. They like to have friction, static, you know, because it feeds them because their life is so damn boring. You know, I'm so sorry, but that's facts. All right, so this is something that someone here is definitely dealing with and needs to heal from needs to rest from that person and do not think that you're a victim because you are not a victim you're a survivor pal too there is a difference okay pick your head up is what i'm hearing because listen you're on your throne i see you with your with your crown i see you looking good like i've been saying nothing but positive things to you honey bunny all right but this person wants you with your head down and you're not meant to have your head down and that's what the universe wants you to hear here today period all right. Yeah, that's the T, honey. Look at that. The T receipts. Tough love. That's right. I'm giving you some tough ass love right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm mad sweet. All right. But tough love. Something's about to be exposed. All right. And this is it, this is a learning experience. It's falling. It's falling right underneath. Look for the learning experience. This is your soul lesson. The T, the hot T is that this is this person that was pretending to be a, a bunny rabbit is really a freaking wolf. All right. This person that was pretending to be someone so sweet, so kind, they're a victim, they're hurt, they're always being abused. Everybody's always talking crap about them. Yeah, there's a reason why. 
because they're a narcissist because they always stirring pots and they always doing some weird stuff all right so you may have felt bad for this person or you may have been there for this person and you may have thought like it was everybody else no tough love is about to be exposed and don't take it personal you know it is what it is. The universe is showing you. And the reason you're learning this lesson is because you're going to take this information, this wisdom, and you're going to pass it on and you're going to teach others. All right. We got viral, famous. OK, I don't know. Somebody's becoming famous at home or somebody's home is becoming famous. OK, listen, <laughs> because it's falling underneath the home. All right. It could just be the stability. Just saying, you know, but everybody knows attention. All right. Somebody's going to know. All right. Take it how it resonates, Patu. But somebody is for sure here, Patu, becoming viral at home. I'm definitely getting that. All right. But that's not for everybody, right? So what I'm getting for the mass, the general, I'm getting that everybody's going to know something about your home. Either you're getting a new home and everybody's finding out. You're renewing your home and everybody's finding out. Um, you're getting married and everybody's finding out. All right, you're coupling up with someone in a home or you're you're moving in with someone and everybody finds out. Like just know, like it's here. You're something about your home, your stability, your commitment, your connection is going viral. Like everybody's gonna know. Mm -hmm. And that's what's meant to happen. All right. Because I'm seeing smiles. I'm seeing happiness. I'm seeing like people happy about this. Whatever is being found out is good news, is not bad news. All right. We have adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. All right. So in order for your blessings to come in, pal, too, which they are regardless, you need to make some adjustments. You need to make some changes, some necessary changes in your life because it's an alignment. All right. It's a vibration. So we could manifest certain things into our world. But if we are not in alignment with what we want, the universe, the guides, the angel, God, they will not present it because we're not ready we're not in alignment with it you know so if you like let's say for example you want a new job right and you're not in alignment with it like let's say you don't have a i don't know you you don't have a plan you don't have a blueprint you don't know what kind of job you want like yeah you want a job but what kind of job do you want you know what i'm saying you're not in alignment with getting a new job because you don't even know what type of job you want you don't even know what you want to do you don't even know where you want to do it you have to have some sort of agenda you have to have some sort of game plan a blueprint you got to know what you want you got to be in alignment you got to be ready for what you want in order for it to come in so your manifestations are going to come in once you're ready for it and if you feel like you're completely ready for it and you're aligned with it then get ready put on your seatbelt because it's coming and that's what i'm getting but there is some sort of adjustments that are required to be changed some sort of adjustments are required to change i don't know all right we got fifth house <laughs> love affairs okay so um hmm, a lot of romance here Ooh. children okay i see you focused okay so I don't know. Are you a party person, pal, too? <laughs> are you an entertainer? All right. What I see that you're focusing on here, because we got the fifth house right underneath that eight of pentacles. And we got the sirens by, back here behind me. So it's going off. And I got Sheen coming on my phone. So a lot of notifications. And now I'm all hot. All right. So now it's steamy. What you're focused on a lot right now, pal, too, you're focused on love affairs. You're focused on romance. You're focused on having fun. You're focused on partying. You're focused on creativity, even possibly children. All right. You're focusing a lot on having fun and fertility. I don't know. You're trying to get pregnant. You're trying to get somebody pregnant. You're focusing a lot on dating. <laughs> you're focusing a lot on having fun and being happy. Like you want to be happy. You want to be good. You want to be good. All right. Yeah. That all comes after you heal. <laughs> all right. That that's the like, you know. That's the thing the universe is saying here, baby, is not that we don't want you to be like fully happy and stuff or whatnot. Not that you're not happy, but it's not that we don't want to give you the parties and all that stuff. Yeah, but you need to heal. All right. And once you heal, the parties are going to feel even better. OK, so I see you like focused a lot on that, having fun, being happy, doing things to make yourself happy. But honestly, you're going to be the happiest when you heal. All right. Because these are temporary things, parties like going out on a date, like those are temporary fix, you know, which do make us happy. But the ultimate happiness is when you are at peace in your heart. So that is one thing the universe is saying. We have the earth element here. 
which gives me Taurus. All right, so somebody could be a Taurus because the Empress is Taurus and also Libra. Um, I'm getting stability here, which is also Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, by the way. Um, I'm getting stability here for sure. You need to get grounded, baby. You are already a queen, king, however you see fit. You are already there. You're already on your throne. It's all about you putting your feet in the soil. It's all about you getting grounded. You're, you're, you're going to have this solid foundation. Be patient. Thank you, spirit. Be patient because you will have that solid foundation. I do see everything happening for you, for, for sure. You need to connect with Mother Earth. Go to the water. Go to the ocean. Go to the rivers. Go to the, the park. Put your feet in the dirt. Hug a tree, you know? This is going to help you with your energy, for sure. Be patient. All right, we have Quinux. Quinux. <laughs> it's complex, all right? Things are really complex right now. Your life is like a little puzzle, okay? You're putting the pieces of the puzzle together and you're doing it in the dark because we got the moon here. All right. So the thing that you may not see that because I see you missing the mark. And so the thing you may be missing because you're on point with everything else on point, point, point. But the mark you're missing is that um, you need like it's required. All right. Again, with this word required. You're required to transition, okay? You're required to make adjustments. So you may be trying to, like, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. You may be trying to, like, please everything and everyone in the midst of this transition or in the midst of your grounding, okay? No, it's all about you, okay? So this change, this puzzle will be complete, when you make the required adjustments, you may be hesitant or resistant to make some sort of adjustments because you don't want to step on somebody's toes or you don't want to hurt nobody, this narcissist or whatnot. You know, like it, it has to happen in order to complete the puzzle, in order to complete the picture. And you're learning because we got education here. You're transforming and you're learning. And in order to complete this beautiful puzzle of yours and to complete yourself, because you may feel incomplete and this may really be bothering you, is because you need to make that. It's required, all right? It's not needed. It's required for you to make that adjustment. Without that adjustment being made, you're going to still be feeling incomplete. And it's a test. The universe is testing you, boo. All right, we got here step up and lead new moon in capricorn all right so somebody could be a capricorn um it's time for you to step up pal two it's time for you to be the leader mm -hmm. judication number 30 oh i oh i got an intuition burp all right somebody could be 30 um judication all right some of y'all could be going to court or maybe this is like this could be spiritual court or this could be like legal court, all right? Maybe you're scared of going to court or taking someone to court or maybe some legal matters. You're scared to put somebody, I don't know. Yeah, I got confirmation from Snapchat. All right, so however it goes, all right, um, someone's judging. Judification, or whether this is like spiritual court or like literal court, there's judgment being made, okay? And it came after step up and lead, all right, so you need to step up and lead, even if that means you got to, like, I don't know, put an order on somebody, an order of protection on this narcissist, or you got to take this narcissist to court, or you got to, I don't know, take this narcissist to child support, family court. I don't know what it is or what's going on here completely because it's thousands of people and everybody has a different situation. All right, so take it how it resonates, but I'm seeing here spiritual court and I'm seeing literal court, like. There's two people here going to court and somebody's making a judgment. Somebody's somebody's guilty. All right. And you need to step up and lead. So whether that is step up and take this person to court or that is step up and lead the way and not let this person lead you. Take it how it resonates. All right. We have passion here. Insane chemistry like each other equally having fun. All right. So I do see in the midst of all of this. <laughs> I do see that there is going to be a spark. I do see you going on some sort of day, okay? And I do see you very happy. Of course, you're going on a day and there's passion if, if you're going to be in this home with someone, okay? Because everybody, you're going to be the talk of the town. Like, everybody's talking about you and someone else. 
in a home. All right. So I see I see things sparkling over here. All right. So um, this may come after all of this, after you make this judgment call or after you take into action whatever needs to be taken into action here with this narcissist. All right. Because I do see the passion flourishing and I do see pregnancy. So be careful if you're not looking for that. OK, we have healthy choices self-love and self-care being happier love and life all right so you may also be deciding to like eat better because you know you are what you eat <laughs> all right so maybe you're trying to do better for your temple what you put into your temple is so important all right so maybe you're making healthier decisions with your diet or maybe you're making healthier decisions with what you consume or what you party with you know you're just making healthier decisions for you is what I'm seeing. And the universe is saying it's necessary because your temple is your home. Your body is so important. So you need to make healthier choices for your body. You need to take care of yourself better. All right. And that was confirmation. And as you make healthier choices for you emotionally, spiritually, and health wise, the doors to value open number 31. All right. So your money is definitely going up. The doors to finances, the door to financial growth is definitely going up as you make healthier choices in your life. 53, we have magician and the mirror. All right. So you're magical, babe. And oh my God, I'm getting hot again. All right. You're magical. You have a lot of power within you. You may be tapping into this. You may not know. You may be, maybe you're finding out today. You have magic with mirrors. So you're very good with mirror magic. Uh-huh. I don't really know much about mirror magic. I know that <laughs> this is not an 18 plus, so we're not going to talk about it. All right. But um, I know a few things about mirror magic, but not a lot. But I see you got mirror magic. You definitely have magic in your hands. I did say your hands are powerful. All right. So and you have a connection to the universe. You see that symbol right there? That's the infinity symbol. A symbol I have here. Um, yeah, you're very, very powerful, very powerful. And so you're either acknowledging this or you're awakening to this very soon or you're growing your power. Your energy is growing. OK, because you're tapping in, you're healing your heart, which is going to grow your energy. All right. So we have 34, a leg up. All right. I do see you getting support. I do see this could be like a friend or a lover. I see someone helping you. This could be even a parental figure, but this is someone you trust. All right. And I see the universe is guiding someone to help you, which is beautiful. We have find balance, which is giving me Libra. All right. Find the balance between your work, rest and playtime. And you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Wow. Look at that. Do you see that? That is crazy. I, I, I don't look at these cards like until like I'm done over here. Obviously, you see me f um, shuffling live here. Um, I don't look at these cards because it like it kills the suspense. And I love suspense. All right. So um, mm -hmm, you need to find balance. What was I talking about since the get about you being totally too focused on work, money, status, endeavors, those sorts of things. You need rest, all right? Look at that. Find the balance between work, rest, and playtime, all right? So work, you napping, resting, and also going out and having a social life. There needs to be an equal balance, okay? This is like the toughest thing for me. I'm a Libra, so everything needs to be balanced. And even I have troubles with this, so don't kick yourself in the butt. But definitely take a power nap is what Spirit is saying. You need a nap. You need to heal. You need to work on balancing your life. Number 20, house. Yeah, I do see. And that's the first thing that came out here. The house. All right. It's a big ass house. All right. So you may be moving into a big house or um, like I'm seeing celebrations about a house. I don't know. There's something going around town about you and a house and um, it's giving celebrations. And with the gate being in front of the house, I feel like this house is protected and it's a big house. Like even if it's not big, you're going to feel big in this house. Like you're going to feel very stable in this house. There is a house being mentioned here. So I feel like home is very significant. Number 11, divining Wait, divining, <laughs> diving for light, <laughs> diving for light. Ooh, this is so cute. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. All right. We got the seahorses. Look at the seahorses. I like her hair. All right. Very, very nice. Very strong features. It's giving me like Asian. Um, Yeah. 
it's giving beautiful all right regardless of like where you're from you know you're beautiful you're handsome um you're diving for light diving for light number 11 11 definitely connecting to the universe all right so you're connecting to your light pal too and maybe you're looking for more energy maybe you're looking for and it feels uh, yeah she's definitely underwater regardless of sex we more male like you're taking a dive into water which is emotion you may have a lot of water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but you're taking a dive and it's like, you know, when you're underwater, you can't really hear, you know, like everything is like, hmm, and you can't talk. It's silence. Take a dive and you'll find your light is what the universe is saying, pal, too. And that's connecting to this four of swords with you healing your heart. You need to stop listening there's no card here saying that. Okay. But you need to stop listening and stop talking and just be. And you're going to find your light. Like, for real. Like, don't listen to what people have to say. Don't say what you're doing. Just be. Listen to your own intuition. Follow your own guidance. And you will be led to the light. Wow, that's beautiful. All right. Last, we have mediator and we have child divine hmm you have a gift for negotiating all right you're a good salesperson uh-huh i'm seeing that there's i don't know if you're trying to like settle the score between two people here maybe this is something that's going on or that will present itself mm. here it says gift for negotiating fairness and strategy strategy in personal and professional life respect for both sides of an argument but the shadow attribute to this is negotiating with an alternative or motive or hidden agenda either personally or professionally all right so like you definitely are a mediator you know how to kind of like bring two people together that are like fighting and make it work you know this is one of your gifts but you need to be fair you need to do it with light okay so if you're doing it for respect, and if you're respecting both sides of the argument, that's good. You could do this for a living, is what I'm seeing, okay? And maybe this is a confirmation for you, pal, too. Maybe you want to do this for a living. Maybe you want to help people, be a mediator, negotiate things, strategize for people, personally and professionally. But I do feel like there's a situation here excuse me i do feel like there's a situation here and i feel like um you're innocent and you want to stick to that energy okay with this child divine this is an innocent energy this is a pure energy this is an energy that speaks of redemption so you're redeeming yourself pal too you've gone through something you're coming up out of the ashes you're redeeming yourself um you have a very special connection to the divine to the universe for a fact okay but at times like what I see is that you have an inability to defend yourself against negative forces. And so that's what you're being taught here. This is your lesson. This is what you're currently possibly going through or what you recently went through. All right. You had to defend yourself against some negative forces, dark forces, evil forces, evil people, dark people, however you see fit, you know, and you may have defended them because of love or because you cared or whatever, but you were literally being attacked. And so either you just woke up or you're waking up or you woke up to this, that you're special. And the reason you're always being attacked or there's always somebody trying to come for you is because of your light. And I see you redeeming yourself and you're so pure and innocent. So back to the mediator thing, like, um, just make sure that if you're mediating, that is worth the mediating, all right? Don't mediate for this narcissist, okay? That's all I got to say, okay? Because if they made their problems, if they made problems for themselves, they got to let them resolve their own problems. That's just my advice. Because they were, they were attacking you and you had some sort of inability to see this for yourself. And so they may ask you for a hand to mediate something or try to make something cool or fair. But it's giving me like uh it's a hidden motive or a hidden agenda behind that and i don't like that mm. 
but that's on you boo <laughs> bless all right Patu. that's that that's who and that's what's up now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to the extended and i'm gonna talk i'm gonna talk about this house because it's the first thing that came out and it came out twice and there's something viral about this house so i want to know what's up with this house and what's going on in this house and what you can expect about this house this stability this union this what is this viral energy about this house all right so we're gonna go into that in the extended and also whatever comes out i will give you of course so if you want to join me the link for that will be listed down below It's on gumroad is a one-time purchase you could either watch it or download it for life that's on you bless and that's that folks part two i love you so much i really do and it was very interesting reading for you here today i usually do charmy time but Today's readings are a little extensive, being that I was gone for a few days, resting, which is what you need to do, okay? <laughs> and um, so I don't want to make the reading super duper long, adding the charms. So next, pick a card. I will definitely have the charms, guys. I promise. All right? And I love you guys. My, my OGs, you know what time it is. If you're new to the fam, make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell button, okay? Not only do you join a beautiful family here, the OGs on my channel, but you also get an opportunity to enroll in my weekly raffle where i give away a free candle i make these bad boys mm -hmm, at home and um you get a chance to win a candle and also a tarot deck that i created i designed a tarot under the sea little mermaid deck so you get to win that deck here on my channel for the free all you have to do is subscribe hit that bell button comment down below and you are in it to win it all right good luck to everybody i love you all i'm sending you so much love light and everything nice if you take anything away from this reading pal tool is get some rest okay <laughs> and know that there is so much greatness coming but there is required change all right and so that required change is made you're gonna feel like you're putting a puzzled together and you're missing pieces but the piece is only that required change that you have to make and i feel like it's connecting to this person who taught you a big ass lesson all right i love you guys i'm sending you love light and everything nice Mwah. deuces bless <laughs> hello there pal three how you doing sweetheart it's your girl Chalissa. and if you chose this card hearts desires then you are at your reading bless let's get it let's go let's tap in mm, ice cream so good <laughs> why am i hearing that mm, ice cream so good you know that girl from tiktok i don't know why i'm getting her all right so i don't know are you guys influencers or is someone here that's only if you're an influencer i'm definitely getting like Something you're about to say or something you do is about to mm, be so good. <laughs> All right, let's get it. Um, bless. All right, spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guides, angels, Yamaya, Archangel, Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear. Please come through and help me channel this message here today for Pal 3. Thank you so much. Bless. Spirit, what is the angel number for Paul 3 here with me today? <clears throat> 141. Maybe somebody's eating ice cream. Ice cream's so good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but I specifically heard that girl. Mm, I seem so good. <laughs> All right, one four one. Go to your search engine. Put in one forty one, angel number meaning, and bam, there goes your message from spirit, boo boo. And if you can do share, do share. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Bless. And um, yes, <laughs> I seem so good. <laughs> It's also giving me like 411 is information. All right, so I feel like some information is coming your way, pal three. All right, so let's put your number over here. Here's your card. It says heart's desires. The angels are supporting, guiding, and protecting you as your dreams become a reality. Oh, well, that matches. Ice cream so good. <laughs> that girl became like an overnight sensation doing like, I don't know what you would call it, impersonations or like sounds or whatever. 
she has her own thing you know bless her and so like i'm getting something of that nature regardless whether you are you know online or not or whatever it is that you do for a living like i'm seeing that you're being supported you're being guided you're being protected and that's what the universe wants you to know and you are making your dreams a reality your dreams will become real honey and if your dreams are already a reality they're about to get even better all right because we're never done reaching goals all right once we reach a goal we have another goal right we want to expand we want to grow and i feel like you're being guided to go to water because this angel here is literally walking on the beach okay so i feel like you have a connection to the ocean giving poseidon energies yamaya energies for sure go to the ocean that's where you release okay and with the wings you may connect with being an earth angel you may connect with being a healer which is very beautiful. I feel like the ocean is going to heal you. Or you may have done some healing work at the ocean or with the ocean. Confirmation. Just do it. Nike. Okay. And this is giving you confirmation, this reading. Okay. Let's get a little more with my music oracle deck, volume three. This is a sample. This is not the final print. Meaning the view, the size, the image, everything is going to change. All right, but let's get the vibe because I'm like, you know, using it for now because I'm so excited. All right, so what's the energy for Pile 3? What's the message Pile 3 is meant to hear today? Mm, ice cream so good. <laughs> I don't know. There's something that you're going to say or do that's just going to hit. Like people are really going to be in tune with whatever it is that you do. Okay, could be anything you know whatever it is that you do whatever it is whatever your dream is like i just see you doing something and it, it just hits and it could be so simple but it hits like that girl you know for real all right here we are it says fresh love where have you been rihanna and then we have i'm going to spoil you throw it in the bag okay <laughs> it's giving like it's connecting to like part two a little bit guys i don't know if you wanted to see that or maybe you did anywho Rihanna, where have you been? I've been everywhere, man, looking for someone, someone who can please me, love me all night long. I've been everywhere, man, looking for you, babe, looking for you, babe, searching for you, babe. Where have you been? Because I've never see you out. Are you hiding from me? Yeah, somewhere in the crowd. Okay. And then we have, I'm going to spoil you, throw it in the bag. Fabulous. Look at price tags, where they do that at. Heard that in ATL. When I'm in ATL, just ask my baby girl. I treat that lady well. Ain't nothing so-so. I know JD well. A couple of Benzes, black, white, gray, CD, CL. Got dudes looking like, did we miss a Mercedes sale? Don't wonder what I do. Just know they pay me well. They keep that Gucci and that Louis on the Lady L's. That's the way we feel. Must be nice, man. You with the right man, you ain't got a price scan. Or ask how much, now what I look like. Son, I'm from Brooklyn, what it look like. You get it, cause I got it. I got it, so you get it. In Miami, they say don't stop, get it, get it. Mommy do the speedy, daddy do the duffel. Bag full of chips, we ain't talking ruffles. All right, so I feel like, <laughs> Pal 3, there's someone that wants to spoil you, okay? And as I was reading that, like, ooh, and my left ear is going off. All right, this is someone, take it how it resonates, but I feel like this is someone that, oh, my ear, <laughs> my ear is going off. I feel like you're hiding from this person. All right, you may be hiding from this person or you're, like, dodging this person and they want to spoil you. They want to, like, I'm hearing buy your love, okay? So... Take it how you want to take it, boo-boo, but I'm seeing it, all right? Because they feel like you hiding, and I feel like you hiding too. And I feel like you're hiding in a crowd, meaning you're like, um, you're blending in. You're, you're not really putting yourself out there because you don't want this person to find you, is what I'm getting. And they want to spoil you. They want to pay, is what I'm getting. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels. That's coming through. So you were meant to hear that. All right, so whoever you're hiding from, they're trying to, you know, buy your love or pay for that pain or something like that. Spirit, ancient ancestors, universe, spiritual guys, angels, Yamaya, Archangel Michael, my Lord, my Savior, Source, God, Poseidon, Mama Bear, please come through. And help me channel this message here today for Pile 3. Thank you. 
Where have you been? All right. Yeah, somebody feels like you're hiding. All right, so spirit, talk to me. What does the universe want Pal 3 to hear today? What is the message for Pal 3 from the universe here today, aside from what we already talked about? Thank you. Like, I feel like your heart is desiring something different, a different reality, a different... Like, I'm, I'm just getting different. Like, you want more. And I feel like you're opening. I don't know. There's something about you opening. There's change. I'm getting the heart chakra. Like, your heart is opening to change. And it's going to change your reality. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What is about three men to here? We have the page of cups. Okay. I see a new opportunity here. Whoa the lovers okay gemini coming through all right there's a there's a choice in love that you're gonna have to make pal three i'm getting that strongly because we got the page of cups here and then the lovers so that's definitely giving me the sign that you're gonna have a choice in love and you're gonna have to make the choice for yourself baby but i do see you cupcaking all right you hear the sirens behind me sirens are definitely a sign of what I'm saying to be true. Um, I see you cupcaking. I see you chatting. I see you flirting. We have the two of swords. I feel like you're not going to know what to do. Like, you're going to be in and out. Like, you're going to be like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? Seven of swords. Seven of wands. Queen of swords. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Mm. All right, you're hiding this. Okay, so what the universe is showing me and telling me to tell you, Pal 3, is that you have new love coming, right? And there's a choice you got to make. So I'm assuming there's more than one option, right? Because if you got to make a choice, it's one or the other, right? Now, with the Seven of Swords being here, I see you being... It's like you're being sneaky about it. <laughs> you're like, you're because you because I'm seeing it here. You're unsure about who to choose or what to do. So I see you being really like quiet. All right, you're like trying to be sneaky about it. But I'm not getting like you're trying to cheat or anything like that. I'm just getting like. You're not sure, so you're not making a decision. All right, there's a saying that I love to say, no decision is a decision, all right? So what you're being told here by the universe today, my love, is that you have a beautiful, beautiful person coming towards you, and you're going to have to choose between that person and another person. One person is your divine partner. You would know because you would feel it in your heart and your soul that this is my match. This is my person. And then the other person is just someone that you that's good to flirt with. Someone that's good to flirt with. Someone that you may have like a little butterflies for or something like that. Um, And so it's a big difference. I see I mean, because the way the way is being shown to me, you know, and maybe you will feel different or right? maybe not. OK, but what I'm seeing here is that there's a huge difference between these two options that you're going to be presented with in love. And it's your choice on what you want to do. But as your sister or however you want to see me, like go with the one that feels right. Go with the one that touches your soul. OK, because this other one is is a it's a page it's like it's mediocre okay i'm sorry i don't want to put it that way but it is like this person doesn't even match you this person is below you not that you know we want to put people in places but let's be honest all right like you're going and you're dancing around this and it's giving circus like you're creating a circus out of something that doesn't need to be a circus all right this may be happening or this may happen in the near future is what i'm seeing so spirit is like this is not meant to be a circus this is meant for you to make a decision but i do see that you're really in your head about this like you're thinking you're overthinking it to be honest and 
you're blinded. It's like you don't see the situation for what it is. You're not even seeing the difference between these two people. And it's like night and day is what I'm seeing. And then I see you guarded because you don't know what to do. You're guarded. You're like standoffish. Um, eventually, I do see you making a decision. Like eventually, I do see that because you're really in your head about this. All right. You're really in your head about what do I do with this? What do I do about this? Like I see you guarded. I see you like having some trust issues. I see you like like. Even though you're the one being sneaky, I see you having trust issues, which is very funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, 77 could be significant. Like you may um, use that number. You may be born in that year or you may be seeing the number 77 a lot. All right. But um, you're standoffish because you don't know what to do because you can't make a decision. And what the universe is saying is, babe, you know what to do. Your soul knows what to do when this gets presented to you because everybody's on a different timeline. Thank you, spirit. Confirmation. Everybody's on a different timeline, all right? So this could be past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates. But I am seeing two options, and I'm seeing you not knowing what to do with this. And instead of making a decision, you're, like, bouncing back and forth. You're, like, trying to, like, feel it out. Like, all right, this water feels this way. All right, let me go over here. This water feels that way. All right, let me go back over here. This water feels this way. And it's like, you already know what's up. Like, that's a puddle and this is an ocean. Like, where do you want to sail? Do you want to sail in a puddle or do you want to sail in the ocean, you know? And it's like, it's obvious, but still you're kind of dancing around it. But eventually I see you making a decision. And then I see you guarded. Like, I see you real defensive because you don't know what to do. Um which is understandable, but no one's against you is what I'm seeing here. But let's get more because this is, I guess, the surface of the message is what I'm seeing. <laughs> All right, let's go deeper. I do see you on the ocean, though, over here. All right, we have karmic partner pushing each other to grow. All right, so one of these two options is a karmic, okay? And this person was put in your path with reason, Yes, you were destined to cross paths with this karmic. Why? Because this person was going to push you to grow. All right. You may have been stagnant when you crossed this karmic person in your life, or you may have not been in the right frequency or energy and the universe wanted to push you. So the universe put this person in your path to push you to grow. It's a karmic. Loud ass car back there. So might have a loud car or a motorcycle. All right. But karmics are Basically, um, people we have a soul contract with, this is someone that you cross paths with in a different lifetime. So it's deep, but it's karma. It's not um, something that is going to... Thank you. I'm just trying to find a nice way to say it. It's not something that you're meant to flourish with, basically. It's, meant, it's, some, it's someone you're meant to learn with. And it's going to feel like a soulmate but it's not because you know it's not because that person's unhealthy like this is that toxic soulmate in a sense you know what i'm saying that person that feels like a soulmate but they rub you the wrong way but then they also feed your your shadow all right things that you shouldn't be um dealing with that type of energy like they they bring out the worst in you and so this person is pushing you to grow so that's one of your options one of your options is a karmic the other one is your divine partner we have the four of pentacles here this looks like scrooge if you ask me okay so someone's stingy with money that could be a clue it's giving me scrooge someone's trying to hold on to you someone's like really like and this person could be stingy with their money. They could be like really, um, or they, they value money a lot or like money is everything to this person. But this person is like Scrooge. It's like they want to hold on to you. This karmic person wants to hold on to you. We have earth angel. You're an earth angel. Of course they want to hold on to you. You're an earth angel. Your name could be Michael. This person's name could be Michael. Somebody's name could have Jackson in it. All right. Because that is Michael Jackson. Okay. Um, But yeah, I'm getting like somebody wants to hold on to you either because of money or they want to use money to hold on to you. Because remember, we have I'm going to spoil you. All right. So either they use money to hold on to you or 
um, they want to hold on to you for money. Take it how it resonates. But they see your wings. And here are wings and here are wings. You're an angel. All right? You're an earth angel. You're a divine being, babe. And they're a karmic. Okay? They're... They're not on your frequency. They're low vibrational. But you guys did cross paths for a reason. So this person is teaching you a major lesson. And this is one of your options. We have DTF. Single, free spirit, many options. Down to fuck. All right. So this karmic is a karmic that's down to fuck. Okay. I'm sorry. This is the way it's coming out, guys. All right, I gotta say the way it's coming out. All right, this person is the person that's down to like do whatever. You know what I'm saying? They down to f. They they they're open about it. You know, like this person could be single, this karmic, and they're free spirited. They're open. They're very sexual. They're very promiscuous. They have many options. Um, they may be fun, adventurous, or like you know, live on the edge, like. YOLO or something. I don't know. They could have highlights, okay? Um, they could draw their eyebrows for some of you guys. I'm just looking at this girl. Okay. Um, could have a nose ring. Could look like this girl or something. I don't know. <laughs> could look like Michael Jackson. Could have a nose job, all right? Something about the teeth. Could have nice teeth. Big teeth. Curly hair. All right. Um, but yeah, those are things that I'm picking up. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And what I'm getting is that this karmic is just trying to hold on to you. They're they're like sneaky with it too. Look at this guy. Somebody had a big nose or has a big nose or got a nose job. There's something here about a nose. Um, but yeah. Um, this person's holding on to someone for dear life. Like, I'm not letting go. And it's giving toxicity. Like, somebody doesn't want to let go of you. We have Black Moon Lilith. Yeah. All right. So there's some sort of rebellious energy here. There's another woman or man. There's third-party situation here. Okay? Because Black Moon Lilith talks about an affair. Um, This is like... um. So either you're having an affair or someone's having an affair here that you're with. Okay? Either this karmic is cheating on you or you're thinking about cheating on this karmic with someone else. Take it how it resonates, but I'm seeing an affair here. I'm seeing another woman or another man, and I'm seeing somebody feeling shame. There's envy here. I'm seeing somebody being rejected because of an affair. Like somebody, like, yeah, like I see you standing in your truth. There's something dark about this karmic with sexuality. Like this karmic has a lot of sexual desires or needs this karmic uses sex seduction could have like the magic box or the magic pipe or or they use sex magic yeah you heard that loud ass car there's a karmic here that uses sex magic and this karmic wants revenge and it's dark it's really dark and so this decision i'm seeing like the universe is telling you to to stand in your truth to make a decision and stand in your truth because Things could go really bad or things could go really good for you. And you're an earth angel. You're meant to have really good in your life. So this karmic, I don't know what's up with them, but clearly they're dark and they want some sort of revenge here with you. We have Chiron. Okay, so you're the healer that needs healing. Okay, that's how I'm getting that. Yeah, you're the wounded healer. You're in pain. You have this beautiful gift, but you need cleansing. You need a spiritual bath. All right. You're spiritually growing, though, and you're meant to be a teacher. So everything you're experiencing here with this person, this situation is giving you pointers, is giving you information, is giving you wisdom, which you will then pass on forward to other people. Also, you need to get a checkup is what I'm hearing. You may not get a checkup or you may have not gotten a checkup in a while. You need to get a checkup. Because this karmic something about this karmic having another person. And you may need to get a checkup. Confirmation. All right. So you may need to get a checkup because this karmic's been sleeping with other people. And this is going to hurt. Or maybe this, maybe you already know this. And maybe so this is why you're hurting. But this is what you need to cleanse. You're the healer that's wounded that needs to cleanse, baby. For sure. Yeah. This person was lying to you about DMs or about a phone or messages on a phone. 
New message, interested, secret admirer. Yeah, this person was chatting. This karmic person was chatting with someone else. You may have found receipts or messages on this person's phone. This may have hurt you or you're going to. This person's been lying to you. Sending pictures to someone else uh, on an unregistered number, like a number that's not registered is what I'm getting. Like, I don't know, you're either seeing this soon or you already saw this. So this could be already past tense or current or future. So take it how it resonates. But I'm seeing an affair. I'm seeing that there's a karmic in your world that wants to hold on to you for dear life. But this person is cheating and there's someone new coming in. And I see you making the decision, the right decision to stand your grounds and go in the right path. And I see like you're going to be interested in someone else balance spirituality and practicality yeah like this is the pisces house the spiritual house like you're learning about balance right now with this karmic this karmic is teaching you about your spiritual house this karmic is teaching you about your intuition about the fact that you are an earth angel that you are a healer this karmic is teaching you how to heal this karmic is teaching you a lot of lessons right now and this karmic is a liar wow and so you don't know what to do with this karmic? Huh? To the love, baby. Definitely to the love. This person is dealing with other people too. And you have a divine partner you're meant to be with. And so this karmic is trying to stop you, hold you back from being with your divine lover. Nah, to the love. All right, we got Uranus, Revelation. Yeah, that you may be seeing a lot of flies. This is a sign, okay? You're going to have a breakthrough, all right? You may be brainstorming. Like I said, you're thinking a lot. You don't know what to do. You may be brainstorming. You're going to have a breakthrough. You're going to find out the truth. You're awakening. And it's through some sort of technology. Like you're finding out online or somebody, something's like, I don't know, something's going on online where you're finding out either on social media or on somebody's phone that somebody's out here and they open, they, they dating other people. They may have acted as if they were like fully focused on you or, you know, they were all about you. But you know what I'm hearing? Flies smell shit, all right? And bees don't explain to flies why they like honey, okay? Or why they smell honey. I don't know. There's some, some sort of term. What is the term? Bees don't explain to flies why honey is better than shit, all right? And that's kind of like the thing here that I'm getting. Like, you don't need to explain to this person why you're choosing a different path or why you're going down a different path, all right? Um, it's kind of like um those memes I be seeing. They, they, what, what was those memes? Those memes where it's like, um, what was understood doesn't need to be explained, that type of vibe, all right? So I don't know, like you're understanding something and it's giving freedom and it's also giving a surprise because I feel like this person either caught you by surprise or is catching you by surprise because you did not expect this from this person. And it's like out of nowhere, it's like lightning, like, whoa, it's a revelation, we have be real, full moon in Aquarius. Somebody could be in Aquarius. All right, you got to be real with yourself, baby. So we got Aquarius and we got Pisces here. We got Gemini as well. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, you got to be real with yourself, pal three. This person is not on your is not on your level. They're not on your frequency. You're an earth angel. They're a karmic. Like it's like night and day. It's like the devil and an angel. It just doesn't match. All right? It it definitely attracts blue black moon lilith like i'm even stuttering speaking to you like i don't know if this person makes you nervous all right but black moon lilith like it's a very um powerful energy for sure it's powerful but it's really dark you know and this person is like really dark and i can't help all these damn sirens behind me like god all right 22 official person all right so i do feel like you have an official person coming towards you or if not they're already around take it how it resonates like i feel like you either have them coming in or they're already around there's someone official coming um male or female you know i do energy but i feel like this person is official and you're gonna feel it because they vibrate at your same frequency wedding rings i feel like you and this new person or this person however you see fit um this fresh love because it could be a renewal or it could be new right it's fresh though it's it's fresh energy um i feel like this connection is going towards wedding rings okay 
This is um marriage vibes, okay? An everlasting promise, a soul connection, eternal love. You and this karmic may have spoken about marriage. No, 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 no. All right, but this is where marriage is really supposed to be in this new connection. We have here seduction with the lighter on the tongue, okay? Somebody could have light eyes. Attraction, teasing, hooking up, date, third party temptation, all right? So whoever this third party person is, whoever this karmic is dealing with, they're dealing with someone that likes fire, someone that likes to play with magic, that likes to play with fire, that likes to live on the edge, that likes to be evil, <laughs> all right? This person likes the bad shit in life, okay? This person is just like, this person likes hooking up with people. This person likes dealing with people that have partners. This is a home wrecker. This is someone that like literally gets turned on by the fact that someone has a man or a girl. You know, this third party person here, whoever's intruding, this person's disgusting. Okay, this person has like succubus energy. Like they like to seduce People that are not available because they have insecurities within themselves. They're not happy with themselves. They feel ugly inside. So in order to feel pretty or better about themselves, they need to sleep with the next woman or the next man's girl or man. You get what I'm saying? So this is who this karmic is dealing with, or this is the karmic. Okay, take it how it resonates. We have hammer, sabotage, and rebuild persistent working on and repairing all right so i feel like if okay so i feel like here what's going on pal three is that <clears throat> something's being broken off for you to rebuild yourself and you need to be persistent you need to work on you okay you need to repair yourself in this situation i feel like this karmic broke you or girl with a snake charmed or used enable boundaries all right so look this person may have a snake okay somebody could have a snake um this is snake tendencies though a person that seduces people that are taken you know what i'm saying like you a snake for that so girl with a snake for sure she got a snake this person has no boundaries this person slithers all right because snakes are very quiet okay and snakes like darkness snakes they like to be in um darkness they like holes they like corners they like going underneath things they don't like being out in the open okay so this person whoever this snake is um this karmic person seduction person over here they they i feel like they charmed your person i do i feel like they charmed your person here and your person had no boundaries your person opened a portal they let them in because they're a karmic and they pushing you to grow and so there's just a lot here the chaser i feel like this karmic is chasing your person like there's a karmic chasing a karmic that's what i'm getting here this is so interesting all right the chaser fear of abandonment chasing codependencies all right so this karmic is scared to be left alone and so they're chasing your person or however you see fit because this is a very interesting storyline here um I just see this girl with a snake or this guy with a snake, okay? Because we don't do sex. We do energy. Chasing after your person. And it's a karmic or, yeah, or or this is the karmic. However you see fit, put it where it fits. But I'm just seeing somebody chasing somebody because they don't want to be alone. And they're willing to fuck up a home just to not be alone. Like, they're willing to take somebody else's home to not be homeless. Like, what? Okay, um, this person's sneaky, but I see the release of this karmic, of this weirdo. All right, we got the sun here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, because no, it's like I'm seeing this person over here. Like, it's giving like, whoa, it's giving me the chills. We have the sun. Something's being illuminated. We have goddess of the moon, all right? Something's being illuminated. We have the sun and the moon here. This is eclipse, okay? 52 could be significant. The number one could be significant. Um, You know what's being illuminated? Somebody was doing some sort of moon magic. I feel that for a fact. You know what's being also illuminated? The fact that you are powerful. 
Because I'm seeing you. Either you're doing a spiritual bath or you're going to water. Like, you're either going to the beach or you're going into a bath and you're cleansing yourself of this energy. Because I feel like whoever, put yourself where you fit, but whoever this seducer is with a snake and the chaser codependent, I feel like this person has been working on people's energies here. And so this... With the four pentacles, look, the chaser is falling underneath the four pentacles. This is, excuse me, this is someone that wants to hold on for dear life, even if there's nothing to hold on to, just to have something to hold on to, you know? So your decision, pal three, is to choose between a karmic and your true lover. 45, time to go. Yeah, it's time to go. You know what time it is. We have asked for help. Angels are... Selecticals beings who protect everyone and the fairies say now is the time for you to ask for angelic assistance all right so you want assistance all you have to do is pray all you have to do is ask all right and you don't have to tell anybody about this like i don't know i mean i pray out loud i pray in my head i pray all the time and that was confirmation all right so the angels are saying babe we can't help you unless you ask us to help you we're watching. We're standing by. If you need us, we got you. But pray. Pray for it. Pray for the support. Your angels are literally right there ready to like come in and give you assistance, give you some help. We have 33 concern. All right. So somebody's family member is concerned. This could be somebody's mom or dad. We have 36 listening for truth. Okay. With this kunk. All right, so you're very intuitive and you're listening to find out the truth about a certain situation and you will find the truth, okay? You are going to find out the truth and it's falling on top of third party. So you're going to find out the truth about this third party person. We have beggar. All right, so somebody is definitely out here chasing and begging. Like, it's really sad. It's really sad. Like, there's a karmic that's going to be out here chasing you and begging you. Pal three. They gonna chase you, they gonna beg you, all right? But you have to confront this. I feel like you're, you don't wanna confront this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like this is tea. You need to confront this though. You have to confront this beggar. This is going to help awaken um, certain gifts that you have within you, actually. We have queen, all right, regardless of sex, female or male. You have royal bloodline. You radiate royalty. And this is why this beggar is begging to stay. Mm -mm. You need to protect yourself. This person is not royalty. They don't, they're, they're not meant to sit at, at the at the table with you. We have entrepreneurship. So the universe wants you to know that you're meant to be an entrepreneur. You're very, very creative. You have the ability to turn anything into gold. Your hands are magical. And what I'm getting here is you're gonna be sharing life's riches, all right? So whatever you do make in life, you're very generous. You're gonna share it with others. I see you as a networker, pal three. All right, so you're definitely doing... Didn't I say that from the get-go, though? Like, mm, ice cream's so good. <laughs> you're going to be working online if you're not already, all right? Or you're doing something online, all right? So you're working with others online. You're networking. You're connecting people online. This could be you sharing information or just connecting people um, or making some sort of group of people aware of something you definitely an empath, and I just see you sharing empathy online, which is very, very beautiful. And I feel like what you're going through is literally a story you're going to tell if you haven't already. Like, I feel like this is a story what you're going through right here with this third party and the clingy third party person and your karmic person and all this stuff that's going on. You're going to tell this story. You're going to share this story moving forward. Okay, I do see that. And I see this person begging, like, it's so sad. Like, this person does not have any integrity. Like, they're begging to be in your world for the wrong reasons because they have somebody else. You get what I'm saying? Like, I would say, you know, maybe you could work things work things out with them, but I, I know you're not meant to. They're a karmic, all right? But 
It's like they have someone else on the low, which you're eventually going to find out. Thank you, Spirit. You know, um, if you haven't found out already, because they keep it low, but they're very promiscuous. And so whoever they got is no one good anyway. They're, they're even lower energy. So there's that. <sighs> that was a lot. All right, pal three. <laughs> so this was your message from the universe. It is time for you to go. If you were like in and out about what you was going to do or who you was going to choose, go for your divine lover and leave this karmic to the side. All right, bro. All right, sis. All right. This is because I see you happy and I see you connecting to your energies and I see you expanding and growing and you got to pray for that protection. The angels will be right there watching you go through it. And if you don't pray for protection or pray for help, there's only so much they can do, you know, like they are going to help. They are going to move things around and assist you, but you need to also have faith and you need to open up and pray for that. So that's something that you're really being urged to do is what the universe is saying, as well as remove this person that wants to keep a hold on you you deserve better all right this person's lying to you this person is taking you for a ride this person just is addicted to your energy because you're an earth angel and also they don't want you to go off with someone else because they're sad and they're desperate but you're meant for bigger and you're meant for better so yeah i see you guarding yourself and i see you being defensive and i see new new energies new money new work i see you very very happy all right, so I'm going to go into that. All right, we're going to go into that because you see how the energies just changed drastically as I started looking further into the tarot. Like, yeah, there's no work. There's something being illuminated here with like unexpected money coming your way. And I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. And I want to talk about this happiness coming into your world because you're being straight up with yourself and you're being straight up with others. Even though you're taking your time cutting cords with this karmic, you're going to do it. I see you doing it is what you're being urged to do. Remember, Bees do not explain to flies why honey is better than shit, okay? Remember that. So you don't have to explain to this karmic why your true soul connection is better than the karmic connection. It is what it is, all right? What's understood does not need to be explained. You don't need to explain. You just need to run. You see this girl, regardless of sex, <laughs> she running, all right? It's time for you to go. And so that's what I'm going to do in the extended. And that link will be listed down below, guys. We are not doing charms because I didn't do it for part one or two because the readings today were very extensive. They were longer than usual because I was gone for a few days. But I promise the next pick a card, I will have the charms, guys. I do, I promise. All right, so the extended will be listed down below. It's a one-time purchase. And you can either watch it or download it for life. It's totally on you, boo-boo. Uh-huh. And next time you watch, most likely, I will have my fishy friends in here. I haven't had time to go to the aquarium and pick them up. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting. All right, guys, I love you. I hope to see you in the extended or in the comments or in the next one. All right. I love you so much. Listen, do what you feel is best for you. Always go with your own intuition, but you're definitely being guided. And I feel like this is confirmation. You already know what time it is. Someone is begging to be in your life and this person has already hurt you. And all they're going to do is like, Throw salt on your wound and hurt you even more if you keep this person in your energy. You're meant to expand. You're meant to grow. And you have a soul connection you're meant to be in where I do see you very happy. But it's just not with this karmic. Who has someone else at the same time? Either way. And you will find out if you haven't already. All right, baby. I'm sending everyone love, light, and everything nice. And I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces. Oh, yeah. By the way, subscribe. Hit that bell button, comment down below. Not only do you get a family, but you also get enrolled in my weekly raffle where I give away a candle that I make, powerful stuff, and a tarot deck that I also made, Under the Sea, The Little Mermaid Tarot Deck, exclusively made by me. <laughs> Winners are announced on the community board, so always look out to see if you are randomly selected. All you have to do is subscribe, hit that bell button, and comment down below. Good luck to everybody. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the extended, the comments, or the next one. Deuces. Babu.